Hey guys, it's Snipesy and welcome to a brand new mobile game which is Star Ocean and Anamasis, I think I said that right, but this is the closed beta for this game that comes out later this year, very soon actually, in July of 2018. So if you guys don't know about this mobile game, I believe it has actually already come out in Japan, but it didn't actually come out in the UK and Europe and America and whatnot and it's going to be coming out very very soon I believe it's going to be free to play which is going to be super duper awesome because if you guys are familiar with my background with Star Ocean it's probably one of my favorite uh, JRPG series of all time one of them probably Final Fantasy being the best of course uh, but I have played Star Ocean 4 The Last Hope I have played Star Ocean 5 Integrity and Faithlessness on the channel and I also checked out the HD uh, and 4K remake for the fourth game. I would actually like to try and check out the third remake of the game which would be super duper awesome but I have had a great history with this uh, game's company with this franchise. I think it is such an awesome super duper series and as you guys can tell I do have my mobile phone with me ready to go. The game is already downloaded, everything is ready to go. So let's go ahead and tap to begin. Let's do it. Okay here we go. <gasps> it's a ship. Oh gosh, it's going to be fun travelling around in the Star Ocean once again. Oh dear. Oh wow. Look at this. This is awesome. Portside Hall has been damaged. Shields are reduced to 40%. And that is the ship AI, of course. And I believe this will let us go through the dialogue automatically. All three ships remain locked onto his weapon top. Launching pad free, says the ship AI. Oh my word, this is crazy. Pod has made it out of enemy ships. Attack radius. Okay. What is going on? All crew members aside from you, Captain, have success. Uh, from you, Captain, have successfully been evacuated. Ugh. Oh yeah, and that's my name, Gwyn. Fun fact, that's my middle name. Understood. Preparing the warp drive. All right. Oh my word. Four, three, two, one. Uh oh. Don't let anything happen. Commencing warp out. Wow, that is crazy. Enemy ships at six o'clock have engaged warp drive. Oh no. They are operating at full power. It will not be long before they catch up with us. <gasps> oh no. Federation borders are nowhere in sight and evacuation by pod is not immediately feasible. Oh no. We can't escape them. Red Giant at 2 o'clock. Altering ship's uh, tra <laughs> trajectory. I know that word. <laughs> uh. Says me. There is a 52.2 chance uh, that using the stars gravitational acceleration to speed up the ship or something. Uh, I cannot recommend performing such a dangerous maneuver. Oh dear, this is risky then. Ugh. You are absolutely certain? Uh oh. What have we got planned? Um. Let's go for. Yes. Okay. Bit of decision making, very nice. Understood. Ship's trajectory uh, re-altered to enter Red Giant's orb. Oh my god, that's like a giant burning star. Wow. Who is that? Warning, warning. Navigation systems inoperable. Uh-oh. A force other than gravity is being exer exerted on the ship. What? It has disabled the warp drive engines. Oh no. Sensors unresponsive. Subspace. Disorted. Transporting ship. Oh dear. What was that all about, guys? We were attacked by some ships. That was crazy. But here we are. Star Ocean and Analysis. Very cool. Okay, we are back. Systems are back online. Commencing scan of ship. Okay. We're still alive. Get it. <gasps> Good morning, sleepyhead. Although your vital signs were stable, I was beginning to worry that nothing would wake you. Oh my god. 
What, what is wrong? Why do you look so terrified? I mean, mysterious maiden, you have very googly eyes. They are terrifying. Oh no, could it be that you are injured? Tell me why it hurts. Captain, is it a flesh wound? Could it be internal bleeding? Oh my god. Ugh, get away from me. Your googly eyes startled me. Everything about you creeps me out. Um, let's go for the eyes. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's crying. Well, well, I understand you are still a tad wheezy. There's no need to be so rude. <laughs> Let us start over, shall we? I am Koro, also known as the ship's AI. Okay, so this guy saved us. As such, it would be no exaggeration to say our fates are permanently into... Please! Okay, I am sure I will grow on you in time. You might even start to think me adorable. Okay, then. And I'm like, ugh. Okay, then. Injured once again. Ah, <sighs> so you want to know where we are? Yes, I do. Let me see. We appear to have crash landed on a planet of some sort. I am, however, unable to identify the sector or solar system we are in. Wow. When the uh, when the pirate ships from earlier opened a full assault on us, crew members were evacuated by pod. You attempted an escape by warp drive. This is where my records end. I am currently attempting to ascertain the cause of our arrival here. <laughs> what exactly happened to us? We will, uh, will we ever be able to return to Earth? Oh, and I'm like, ugh. Fun fact, so yeah, my name, uh, my middle name is Gwyn, and that's a very Welsh name there. And if you actually translate Gwyn in Welsh, it means white, the colour white, which is very interesting, but... I still stick with the surname Gwen, not White, because that would be a bit weird. Like, Will White Jones, that would be a really weird co uh, name combination. But anyways, listen to me. <laughs> you are right. Positively correct. There is no time to fret over such things. We must find a way to strengthen this mess out. Straighten this mess out, even. Straighten the mess, well. <laughs> um, I will begin scanning the ship to determine how much damage it has sustained. I am unable to produce any estimates. The outer sensors are unresponsive. Ugh. What? You are not thinking to go outside, are you? Doing so would be extremely dangerous. <laughs> you make a very convincing argument with me. <laughs> Perhaps the only way for us to determine the extent of the damage is by observing the ship from the outside. While this world, for the most part, appears to be inhabitable, please do be careful. Okay then. <laughs> Excellent. I can now see perfectly out of the monitor in your collar. Alright, oh, okay, so he's observing what we can see. The coast appears to be clear. Alright, it's a bit of a deserted wasteland type thing. Wait. There is something shining to your 11 o'clock. What is it? <gasps> is everything alright? Oh wow, oh we got a log, very cool. The sensors are unable to identify the object. Maybe it is an explosive. Wow. Oh, it looks pretty though. Or, upon closer inspection, a mineral of some kind. It might have been... And artificially manufactured. Uh, if you bring it back to the ship, I can run a full analysis. Wait, did you hear that? What was that? <gasps> 10 o'clock! A humanoid life form is fast approaching! Apparently, it is being followed, no, chased, by some massive creature! It's a crab! <laughs> Captain, no! Do not get involved! To do so would be a violation of the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact. Captain! Captain! Uh oh. Oh no. Judging by their trajectory, they will collide with the ship. Perhaps you have no choice but to intervene after all. Alrighty. <sighs> Mysterious Maiden. You! Don't just stand there gulping. Run! Huh? Is that what I think it is? 
She's doing stuff! What's she doing? Heavens above, lend me your powers that I might forge a path for the righteous! Oh my word. Oh my god, it's Fidel! What's he doing here? Another human? What in the world is going on out there? <sighs> that spell has drained much of my strength from me. The rest is up to you. I will leave my sermon in your hands. Lead him in battle and together fell the enemy. Take down the enemy otherwise. Make haste. I cannot keep him here for much longer. Uh oh. What does she mean by the test? The rest. <laughs> the rest is up to you. And why is that boy not going to be here for much longer? Oh dear. Oh dear. Miss. Miss. Are you hurt? Ah, oh, I don't know how to begin processing this situation. Multitasking is supposed to be my forte. Captain, help. Oh dear. And I'm like, it's fine. We've got this. We know what we're doing. And he's saying, oh right, okay. Understood. Let us engage in battle. Eliminating the threat is currently our top priority. Alright. The young missus said the boy she summoned will listen to your directives. <gasps> so we're going to control Fidel. Yeah, off yes. We off we go. Oh, I like his accent. With him by your side, you should be able to defeat the enemy. Okay then. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, so we're entering into battle. Tap on an allied character's icon during battle to challenge to change your primary character, sorry. Okay. A tutorial. First, you must learn the basics of battle to move your character. Simply slide your finger around the screen. Awesome. So, uh, next, tap the screen to attack normally. Your character will automatically move the appropriate distance and start uh, fighting. Very cool. Tapping these buttons allows you to use battle skills. Remember that effectively switching between battle skills and normal attacks is the key to victory. Alright, I'll do that. Skills can consume action points, so be careful. You can always recover AP by either attacking normally or waiting. Alright then. So, now apply what you have learned. Move, attack normally, and use battle skills to take down enemies. Let's begin! Battle begin. Begin battle. And let's just attack normally by tapping here. Oh, I love that we're controlling Fidel. Okay, let's use the battle skill. Oh, wow! Air slash. Okay, go for that guy. Hit him. Hit him. Right, now let's do this. Air slash. Oh, nice cycling blade. Okay, go over there. Fidel. Fidel. Thank you. And one more. Ah, oh, double slash. Okay, go over to him. And double slash. There we go. Nice combo. Very cool. Victory! Awesome. That was really fun. Stage 2. Okay. Your rush, rush gauge is full. This is your choi. Uh, choi, 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 my words today. This is your chance. Enter rush mode and assail your foe with a powerful attack. Okay, so I just tap the rush gauge thing. Tap there. There we go. Rush mode start. Oh, it's like the special move. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. I remember that from SO5. It was so cool, the graphics of it. Whoa! Look at those beautiful graphics. I'm very impressed. Mission complete. Nice one for Dell. Oh, that was so cool. And that was just a tutorial. Mission complete. And we've got a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. I think, is that a rank one? Something like that. But anyways. Oh. So we have XP gained. And I noticed we had Miria then. And she was from uh, SO4. She was a cool character. Excellent work. I must admit, you are quite a bit more skilled than I had anticipated. Please sit back down, miss. You appear to be unsteady on your feet. I, I'm perfectly fine. Thank you. Okay. We don't need to see the log, it's fine. Indeed. This here is your ship, correct? Would you mind uh, taking me with you? Okay. Uh, m m miss, are you alright? You are te <laughs> uh, teetering back and forth. You need help. <laughs> Moving and swaying a bit there, aren't we? And I'm like, 
What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh dear. All right, we are back on the ship. Objective. We are now in orbit around the planet. Oh, that was quick. Currently, our shields, communication system, and a proportion of our sensors are down. The engines and systems regulating flight, however, are online and functioning normally. I am using the positioning of the stars to navigate our ship. Very clever. The young uh, lady we picked up is now asleep, her vitals are steady. I have run a scan of her DNA and passed it through the Federation's uh, database. I was however unable to find any matches. It appears she is an unknown life form. Ah, oh, cool, a bit like what happened with uh, Starship 5 where we had that crash land uh, from the small girl, I forgot her name, wow. <laughs> Are you sure it is a good idea to keep her in uh, on board? And he's crying about it. It is the humane thing to do. I need to learn more about the spell she used. I couldn't leave a lovely girl, a uh, young girl, to fend, fend for herself. I'm going to go for the middle one because we want to know what that magic was all about. If it was magical symbology or uh, signature G, whatever it was. Ah yes, the symbology, okay, she used is known even to the Federation, unknown even to the Federation. It would indeed beho behoove us to learn more about it. Okay. The calculations are in. It would seem we are, we are located 70,000 light years from Earth. That is far outside the Federation's, uh, just to, just to... Jurisdiction! Jeez, I know these words, I swear I do. Oh, he's freaking out, he's freaking out. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh my god. Oh, we're down in the corner, replace the door. Oh my god, he's freaking out. So very sorry! I am terribly sorry. It was in such a hurry that I must have uh, missed something. I shall recalculate everything straight away. Alrighty. What's the calculation is gonna say this time then? I do not understand. No matter how many times I run the numbers, the results remain the same. And I'm like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> perhaps it is as you say. This is no mistake. This means we are so far out in space that I cannot even determine which sector we are in. Wow, we're far off then. Perhaps we were sucked into a wormhole. If that is the case, our chances of even making it back to Earth are. <laughs> oh! But the odds do matter, and very much so at that. Oh wow, he's getting mad. He's mad at us now. You fail to understand that nothing short of a miracle will get us home. And I'm like, calm yourself, you fool. And he's like, oh, I'm so sad, crying. I just want to go home. I apologise. Your lifespan is far shorter than mine. You have much more to fear than I. Yes, you are the one consoling me. I am ashamed. Um... I retract what I said earlier. Captain, we will find a way back. I shall attempt to configure a route to Earth. Please stand by. Okay. Let's try and see if we can make it back to Earth then. Configuration complete. Please keep in mind, however, that because we do not have much data on our current whereabouts, this route is subject to change. I also will not be able to predict what we will encounter along the way. Oh, this means we need to travel the traditional way, one star system at a time. We shall start by journeying to the adjacent one. Oh, look at those missiles! <laughs> Worry not, Captain. I will be with you every step of the way. Now, let us make for Earth. Wow, look at those muscles. Wow. Don't know we could pull those out. And here we are. We are at the main menu. We have the shawls on a planet. Let's tap the embark button to depart for it. Okay. And it wants us to press it. Yep, yeah, they want us to press it. So this is the menu system then. Very cool and we'll be looking at it further in just a sec. Our landing was successful, now try selecting the first mission. Oh nice. Take a look at this. We need to set the scene now. Tap the view story button to see how our adventure will begin. Okay then. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen. 
Objective. Subspace warp drive disengaged. We will soon be arriving in destination planet's orb. Uh, orbit. <laughs> wow. Approximately 40% of the surface is covered by land and 30% is not constructed by uh, canopy. canopy. There are no cities with population succeeding uh, 100,000. Internal combustion engines have yet to be invented here. Civilization is likely still in its early stages. A bit like what happened with Starship 4 then. As we have no data on this star system, I have randomly assigned this planet the name Mira, 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 whatever that name is. I'm not sure what that uh, name could be. I do not recognize it, but it's this girl again. We've arrived, I take it. Ah, good. Your vitals are back to normal. You appear to be doing better. Evenly, is your name correct? <laughs> Evelise. Yes. You can call me Eve. It is good to proper properly meet. What is wrong? Are you feeling ill? <laughs> and he's like, Are you okay? And I'm like, uh, Back down, please. Take oh. a step back. Your face unsettled me. Is all. I'll be fine so long as you stay away from me. How rude. Oh, I love that. That was awesome. He even said himself, how rude. I will have you know my appearance was calculated specifically to be endearing to humans. How dare you. Ahem. Moving, f uh, moving forward. Moving forward. That doesn't say moving forward. Moving on. I have re-registered your name as Eve in my system. Eve? Oh, I am glad to see you are doing better. We were quite worried about your condition. <laughs> like I said, I am perfectly fine. So long as you have the need and gems, I can summon any ally whenever you wish. <gasps> yes, we can get all the Star Ocean characters. There is just one thing. <laughs> so you have lost all of your memories? Now what? Yes. It is as though a heavy fog has obscured parts of my mind. While I can still recall my name, no matter how hard I try, I am unable to remember how I learned that spell or why I was on that planet. <laughs> never fear, never fear. You can travel with us until you regain your memories. After all, uh, companions on the road lighten your fighting load. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. Don't know what he meant by that, but sure. I would like that. Thank you. I am confident that accompanying, accompanying you, I will be able to recall all that I have forgotten. <laughs> Added to that, you will no doubt find me to be a valuable ally. My symbology is nothing to scoff at. Well, now enough about me. How is the ship? All oh, right. Well, our shield's failing, uh, fa yeah, failing, has had quite a negative effect on the ship's flight. <sighs> Space dust, though normally neg neg <laughs> negligible, uh, yeah, negligible, now does a great deal of damage when we travel at high speeds. And I'm like, have you thought about this? Agreed. Unfortunately. Uh, until we obtain replacement parts, I cannot make any repairs. If we were, however, able to harness enough energy, we might uh, be able to erect a shield strong enough to repel the dust. And I'm like, hello. Understood. Very well, then let us descend upon this planet and see if we can locate a source of energy. <laughs> Exploring an unknown planet. How exciting! I'd like to join you in your search, if you don't mind. In that case, it falls to me to look after the ship while the two of you are away. I will not let you down. Yeah, and off we, off go. we go! Now let us commence the landing process. Alrighty then. Let's see what's going to happen. Alright, so we are here. As I doubt two people and an AI are enough to explore an unknown planet, I summoned us allies. Check them out! Let's see what we got. Here. I almost forgot, we need to prepare before we begin investigating this planet, so would you mind returning to the bridge? Yeah, no problem. 
Let's see what's happening. Right here. How convenient that you have a gift waiting for you. You can see what it is by tapping this button. <gasps> It looks like you found a rare gem. You can use it to summon one ally of your choice. Oh my god, yes. I would love to choose an ally on our team. Awesome. Summon special character. Select only one character you would like to summon. Tap on the icon to view details. And we've got an attacker and an offensive role that specializes in melee attacks. Primary weapon type used are those like a fist and a sword. Characters will be summoned at a 5 star grade and level 1. So it's very similar to what Brave uh, Exvius have done, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, and as well Fire Emblem, uh, was it Awaken? No, that's a DS game. But the mobile file Fire Emblem game, my friend would know what it's called, but they have a very similar system where you can summon certain allies and it tends to be random. Oh, we have more, we have a defender. A defensive role that specialises in drawing enemies' attention to themselves, thus protecting allies, very cool. And we also have Sharpshooter, an offensive role that specialises in long range attacks, very cool. And Invoker, an offensive role that specialises in group attacks and elemental magic, very cool. Healer, which rolls in recovering health, magic to all allies. And that's pretty much about it, I think that's all of them, right? Yeah, I think that's all the roles. Very cool. Um, and I think we get to choose one of these guys. So I believe we have uh, Fidel, which is from uh, Starship 5. We also have that guy from Starship 5. Why do I not remember the names? Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to look this up. That's going to beg me so hard. It is Victor Oakdell from the Star Ocean 5 game. Oh, why did I completely forget his name? I don't know. But yeah, we also have them. We also have another character that I'm not familiar with. I think she uses guns or something. And we also have Miria from Star Ocean 4. And we also have Miki who is from Star Ocean 5 as well. So this is going to be quite interesting. I'm very tempted to choose Miria but I don't know if we already have certain characters that like the ones that we use for battle. But I do like the idea of playing as Emerson, so I think I'm probably going to go for that, to be honest. Ooh, and we can see his stats as well. Very nice. Yeah, he's got a lot of defense. I remember um, he had a lot of health in the game as well. Like, he was the character that I used for, like, buffing up health like crazy. He was, like, the HP buff boy there. And we also got some skills. He knows Mirror Blade, then Prig Flash, Bloodstorm Revolution, very cool. Diabolic Will is his rush mode uh, attack. We also have some talents. The King's Chosen Honor, Defense Plus 40% for the party. And what friends are 4 2? No, uh, no flinching when taking damage of 15% health or less for the party. So I think I may actually go for that, but let's check out these other characters. We also have Miria, who has a lot of intelligence, of course, and she has some talents there. Oh, I love the memory of Lucian sometimes. And she has some spell skills. She knows Deep Freeze, Thunder Flare and Arctic Impact. And she knows Ultraviolet Extinction. Enclose your enemies in a dome of dark matter and detonate them is her rush mode. That's really cool. And we also have Miki who is a healer. And she knows Divine Wave for her rush mode. And I believe it, uh, oh, it manifests walls of light and sends them toward the, the enemy. 30% uh, HP recovery. Oh, I think that's like a locked effect there. She knows Radiant Lancer, uh, X Healing and Sunflare, very good skills. Um, oh, we already looked at that. Let's um, look at this person. Mir Maria, Sharpshooter. I am not familiar with this character, very cool. Uh, let's see what skill she has. Aiming Device, Crimson Scroll, I remember that because uh, Raimi used that in Star Ocean 4. That would be cool if I could get that character. Laser Blast and her rush mode is Energy Barrage, very cool. And let's have a quick look at Fidel, even though we controlled this guy in the previous uh, battle. Very cool there. Nice abilities. Nice. Okay. I think out of the uh, five characters, I am thinking Emerson because he'd be really cool co uh, to control. And I like how he uses his sheath to attack enemies. And he's a really cool guy. So, let's go ahead and draw Victor. I called him Emerson, didn't I? Jeez. Oh, look at this. This is awesome. Right, let's summon him. Above, lend me your that I might the 
Oh yeah, she said that before, didn't she? This is awesome! Oh wow. I pledge you my sword. <gasps> it's uh Victor. I was gonna say Emerson. Jeez, but Victor looks so cool. I'm so happy with that. And he is Galaxy Rare, five stars. Very nice. Or Serm. The above characters have been summoned. Very cool. I'm very happy hey, with that. Attention. And that is how you summon. Don't forget to add new allies to your parties and to check their Perfect. equipment. Oh wow, there's a character there. Hello there. But anyways, let's Where's check out friend? our uh, party. Let's see who we have. Oh, okay. So we have these three characters, I believe, and we have multiple parties, just like what you can do in the Fire Emblem game. So we have these characters. Um, of course, I'm going to make the first guy uh, Emma's, oh jeez, Victor, jeez, I need to stop calling him that. Uh, we also have some other characters to choose from, so I'm gonna add an invoker, because I do like a bit of magic. Let's have a look at the shop. Welcome. Step right up. And we can get some items, which is new, very cool. Uh, but we do not have that much uh, money. And, uh, oh yeah, because the game is still in beta, you can't actually do in-app purchases, which is quite interesting there. Can I do some more summons? And we get you one free uh, per day. <laughs> yeah, let's do a summon. And I believe the beta uh, at the moment is the 16th, but I think it's going to be still on uh, hey, over the weekend still. The probably until the 18th. I'm not sure if they've extended it because they have had some maintenance and it does affect characters uh, like uh, progress in I the game, so yeah. Oh, I remember this character from Star Ocean 5. I wanted to play as her, but she was like, no, you're a, you're an AI in the game, so ha. If rare. Wow, Hana. Oh, no, nice. she's a healer. I think I'll be adding her then, because she's a cool character. So, how many gems do we have? 5,000. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do uh, 10 summons. I forgot what I was going to say then, jeez. Um, but I'm not sure if the progress that we have now, if it carries over into the next game. But I'm just going to summon him just to show you guys what I get. Because it's really cool to see uh, if we get any super rares and all that. Oh, I think one of them is a super rare. Okay. So we got this guy. Who is he? Uh, I do not know him, but he looks really cool. <laughs> it's one of those guys from Star Ocean 4, those like evil guys. Uh, Boris. Oh, oh dear. Cool though. All right. Familiar. It falls to us to shape the future. She looks very familiar. I think she might be from Star Trek Four. Miller? No, she isn't. She looks a lot like the character that I was thinking of though. And it's uh, that guy again. Okay, limit break one. I do not know what that means, but must be something good. Uh, I recognise her. I think she's like a fighter. Uh, I f oh, was she in Star Ocean 5? I do not know, but she looks very familiar. We will win <laughs> nice. We have a knight. Okay, anything else? Because I think two, you know. we get two summons, if I'm not mistaken. Stand back. <gasps> yes, we have Emerson! I'm so happy, okay. <laughs> Maybe that's why I was saying this name, because I was like, I would really like to have that character in my party, and now it's actually happened. He is a Galaxy Rare 5. That is a really good draw there. I'm so happy with that. Awesome. That was a very successful summoning there. So let's go ahead and add Emerson to the party. He's definitely uh, being added to the crew. So let's go ahead and add Emerson because he's a star 5. And uh, Hana is a star 4. I think she's the highest one out of the other characters, so I think I'll probably do that then. I'll add her as a healer. That sounds really cool. Okay, so I'm just going to go through all the other things that we can do in this right game, here. where we can check out stuff. This is where you can change characters' equipments and skills, tap the weapon slot to modify their weapon. Very cool. Just like with weapons, you can tap the accessory slot to change Don't accessories. At the very bottom are your battle skills. You can set up to free skills from those the characters have obtained. Very cool. So, I think, is the S like a ranking? But yeah, I don't think we have any other skills. Do we have any gear? No, we do not. Do we have any accessories? No, we do not. <laughs> but we'll probably get those as we play through the game, obviously. Status enhancements, okay. 
Oh, okay, so I don't have the necessary materials, apparently. How rude. Limit break. I'm guessing that's sort of the same thing where we get to increase their uh, star rating. Yeah, it's very reminiscent of the Fire Emblem game uh, stamps. And as well, a bit of Brave Exvius, which is really cool. Uh, oh, very cool. <laughs> Look at those. They're adorable. Oh, we've got Welch as well. Uh, okay, so I'm. That might be for like, um, like when people view our profile. I'm guessing. Okay. Oh wait, hang on. Character guides. Oh wow, look at these characters. <gasps> Phase is in the game. Oh my gosh, I need to get Phase. That would probably be the best ever summon. If I got Phase, I'd be very happy and content. And we've also got some of the other characters. Oh, Welch would be a cool one because she's an Indoka. <gasps> oh, and it's the captain guy from Starship 4. <gasps> I recognise that guy from Starship 5, the guy with the long fringe, and I left that fringe. I probably have the same one right now, but it's not the same style at the moment because I've got tons of hairspray in it, of course. Um, yeah, what was that character's name I was trying to think of? Lemel! Jeez, I forgot her name. How could I have forgotten Lemel? Jeez. But yeah, she is right next to Faze there. That would be really cool if we could get her. Um, oh, hello. I don't recognise any of the other characters apart from Arn, of course, and the big chubby guy from Starship 4. Fidel, of course. Yeah, I don't recognise any of the other characters. I think Edge is in the game, but I'm not sure if he's actually a summon. Because he's on like the poster, isn't he? Uh, same for Raimi. And there's an evil guy who's from Starship 5. Shooter from Starship 5. Um, might be another Starship 5 character, the one that looks quite evil. Uh, yeah, I think that's all the characters that I'm familiar with. I don't recognise the other ones, so they must be from like previous Starship games. But that would be cool though if I checked out uh, till the end of time, because that's supposed to be like a really good game. Okay, game doesn't want me to have that name, fine. Fine, I can change it another time, it's fine. We want the highest quality graphics. Yeah, let's see if we got any items. Oh, <laughs> no weapons or anything. Oh, enhancements. You can upgrade weapons and accessories here, extend the applicable uh, materials, and level up, level them up. Okay, if you combine a weapon for uh, or accessory with an exact copy of itself, you can increase its level cap. This can be done up to five times. Okay. Raising a weapon's level high enough sometimes gives it additional effects called factors. How grand. Very cool. Uh, but yeah, we can't do that at the moment, which is fine. You want to enhance this? What's transmute? You can also transmute weapons once they become level 10. Combine them with other weapons of the same rarity to produce a different weapon of a higher rarity. Wow. If you transmute a 5 star weapon, you will get a special coin you can exchange for any 5 star weapon you want. That's really cool. Wow. Uh, so it's a good way to like balance things out, isn't it? Like, if you don't want a certain weapon that's a 5 star, you can just get a different one. <gasps> and I have gifts. Uh, get the gifts. I'm freaking out. Uh, oh, okay. This is your gift box and uh, gifts are not technically yours until you accept them. Uh, but be, uh, but beware, they do not last forever, yes. So let's go ahead and get them. Ooh, 200 gems! Okay, um, but we do already, uh, we did already do some summoning, so it's fine. What is this? Achievements. Summon a character one time. Ooh. Okay, and we have received a achievement. Okay, very cool. Oh, another gift. What is this? Give us more. <gasps> Summon a character one time. Yes, we need more. <laughs> we need more summons. Oh, and we can edit our favourite! Oh, nice! Select your favourite character at the moment. Yes, okay. Uh, I think I'll probably go for uh, Victor, of course, because he was my first choice. Um, probably out of the whole choice that I had, I probably would say he is my favourite because I thought, oh, you know, if he's a starting character then I'd be happy with that. So yeah, that's cool. But yeah! That is pretty much all that we're going to be doing for now, guys, on Star Ocean and a, Ness and a Nemesis. Oh, I nearly forgot the name for it then. I was like, <gasps> I don't know the pronunciation. But guys, thank you so much for joining me on this special video of Star Ocean and a Nemesis. If you guys would like me to do some more videos of this game off the closed beta, please let me know. And as well, if you would like me to play this game when it comes out in July, I would love to do so. Again, leave a comment if you would like to see a video of me doing that. And as well, if you guys have been playing this game, please let me know if you've had any awesome summons like what I had just then. That was so cool that we got Emerson uh, for one of our party members. That was really cool. 
Also, if you guys would like to check out my previous Star Ocean playthroughs, you will find them in the links down below. And as well, I will be leaving info cards all around the video. So you can find playthroughs that I've done of this game and all the playlists that you need to check out all of the Star Ocean games that I've done on the channel. So guys, for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video of whatever I make next. Until then, guys. See ya!